Hey guys, welcome to another Shopify app review video. So my name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and on this channel, we review Shopify apps. Now this week, we are going to look at bulk image edit by Hextong. Uh, the entire premises behind the app is it will speed up your Shopify store. As you know, speed is extremely important in Shopify stores. Amazon did some kind of um, research on it that by every uh, half a second, they lose so many thousand dollars of revenue. And think about it, it makes sense. When you are on your phone and you're trying to access a website and a website doesn't load, you're going to leave and that website just... Uh, missed out on a potential buyer. Anyway, Bulk Image Edit tells us that they can maybe help us with that. So let's check out the behind the scenes of how the uh, app looks and functions and see you on the other side. Cheers, guys. First things first, uh, installation. You can find the app in the Shopify App Store, obviously. So the app has a 4.8 rating based on more than 1,500 reviews. That's pretty impressive. But we saw similar and even higher rating apps. So okay. Uh, creators of the app advertise that this app will improve SEO and performance, bulk square resize or crop images to fit, any social media or sales channel listing, and you can protect your images by adding a watermark to your product and team image in bulk. It sounds like something we need, so let's jump on app dashboard and see what we can do with it. After you install the app, you will be taken to the app homepage as here. From here, you can browse through the FAQ right on the page, which we don't see quite often and it's actually a great feature. If you are not sure how to use the app and need help, definitely refer to this. Um, speaking of help, you can contact the support via email. There is no live chat, which, all right, but it works. Next block is dedicated to the account status, uh, which we will check later when we actually have something to show because right now we haven't said anything up yet. So now we will go through every step and try to get as much as we can from this app. So let's start with the alt text. Uh, you can do it by clicking on alt text field here or in the left menu navigation. Either way, you will be taken to this page. Again, we have FAQ, but this time about the alt text specifically. And that's pretty smart designing, actually. In case you don't know what alt texts are, they are associated with an image, and when implemented properly, they accurately describe the image. So let's say if you have a red, an image of the red car, you write under it red car, and that way Google, when they scroll, uh, when they scrape your site, they know that you have an image of a red car. Whether or not you perform SEO on your business, optimizing your website's image alt text is your ticket to creating a better user experience for your visitors, no matter how they first found you. On this page, we can choose from optimizing product images, collection images, or blog images. We will try all of them, but let's start with product images. So click on this button right here, and four new steps appeared. Ta -da. So step two, set conditions to find images for editing. Okay, we will set conditions. Images must match all of the following conditions to be edited. We can filter it by collection, product title, time of creation, or last update, or we can just choose all products. We will filter it by product title and we will write toy, for example. If you wanted to filter it further, you can add as many filters as you want. We will add one more for collections and choose summer is here. Now, we should preview the products by clicking on the blue button right here. All right, we have too many images now, so we will narrow it down with more filters. Filters. Let's choose image file name does not contain and write uh, birthday. So this is cool. There are plenty of options for filtering the images, even by background color. Okay, we can preview matching products from this step, which is strange, but all right, all right. Not bad, not bad. Now you the next step is to choose how you want to edit the alt text. Four default options and you can make your own template. We will go with this one right here, product title. One more awesome feature, you can actually schedule daily bulk image editing, which will save you a lot of time because it runs daily and automatically. We will run it now to see how it performs. The bulk editing task is queue and we are redirecting the view one-time tasks 
page as you see after about 10 minutes the task is completed and we can see what is done by clicking on the details right here the app added alt text as we want it in a short period of time so so far so good all right, all right. let's go back to the home page and alt text again since we want to collection cover alt text steps are the same as it was in the product images so let's choose all collections and preview we want to edit all the images from step two and we will not make our own template now so we will choose the default option right here let's schedule it and see how it goes a daily bulk editing task created and we are redirected as you can see to the view scheduled task page if you're not on the paid plan you can schedule only one task which is pretty fair for alt text we are only left with blog images but we currently don't have a blog in this demo site i'm so sorry about it so we're going to skip it but you kind of get the concept but you should know that all the steps and the processes are the same as for the collection and the page so same thing okay now that we have the alt text ready we can proceed to file rename so go back to the home page or choose file name in the sidebar and let's get it started now you are wondering why you should rename your files uh, it's simple creating quality file names helps you improve the ranking in google image search so we will do that right now it's one of those little things it's not immediately gonna affect your bottom line but you know these type of little things do add up and it's just having your house in order and all these little things will eventually add up and affect your bottom line but all right enough of the rant here we won't do this since the file name feature is not available on the free plan so that's kind of a bummer but all right we'll skip this and just jump right to reducing the image sizes. So go ahead and click on minimize button. We can only resize product images on a free plan. But if you're willing to pay, you can also reduce the size on the team assets, collections, cover, and the blog article images, I'm sorry. So this is kind of important to note. So let's click on product images. In the same steps as with alt text appear, we are limited with 50 images per month. So we will keep that in mind. So let's choose collections and our picks and then previewing matching projects we have too many variants so we will narrow it down let's choose image file name does not contain and we'll write birthday and the next condition image file name contains a squishy that should do the trick we can actually choose from two editing options minimize file size without losing visible image quantity which is recommended and minimize file size by losing some image quality uh, with the first option we get 10 to 30 percent improvement without losing visible visible image quality and with the second option files will be around 20 to 50 percent smaller by losing some image quality so we will choose the second option and see if we can spot the difference bulk editing task is queued and we are redirected to one time task page just remember that heavy pages leads to slower loading times which could potentially lead to a uh, decrease in revenue anyway uh, we're waiting on this and while we're waiting also let's speak about the pricing options so we obviously have the free plan which we're currently on because I am cheap but we also have the 9.99 a month basic plan with a thousand images edits per month after that we have the 19.99 okay let's call it what it is the $20 a month professional plan with 3,000 monthly edits then we have $50 for the advanced plan with 10,000 monthly edits and the enterprise plan for basically 100 bucks a month which comes with 25 thousand per month so that's generous but you do have to keep in mind that when you start working at the app you will hit the enterprise plan within a few days you actually get there surprisingly fast all right anyway our images are ready so let's see the results as you can see, we just tested and we almost reached our monthly limit for the free plan, which is 50 images a month. Anyway, click on the details. Left is the original one and on the right is the optimized one. And we can actually see a before and after file size. We can see a little difference in quality, but frankly, it's okay. Images are not 50% smaller, but 30% is fine as well. And I think this might actually help our loading speed. Well, it should definitely do. It's time to move to the next function of this app and it's going from PNG to JPEG is on collection cover images and blog article images is not available on the free plan. All right, so let's just test it on the product images because it same logic will apply on the others. So same step again, this time we will choose all products, click 
on preview, no further filtering, and the option is change image format from PNG to JPEG. And is it JPEG or JPG? I guess there is no E. I'm not a designer, so this is not my forte here. We will check convert PNG image to JPG, even if image contains transparent colors, and hit the blue button like we did before, basically. We are on view one time task page, again waiting for the format to change. Since we are almost out of monthly edits, uh, we will revert to image we minimized already. And all right, the reverted option did not do the trick, so you can edit limited number amounts of images. So if you're not satisfied, you can't choose a different option. All right, so do keep that in mind. Don't try to test a bunch of things out and be like, okay, I'll use it later because you're paying your tests as well or your tests count towards your end plan. Um, now that we have the converted the PNG images to GPG, let's try the square option. Having square images will help your website look more professional in certain cases. And these type of images do go well with social media and that's kind of important when someone shows your link it doesn't look like a half cropped image so square on team assets images collection cover images and blog article images is not available on the free plan so we will stick with the product images again five step process maybe we can change the conditions to the product title contains uh, preview match the products we will leave further conditioning as it is and there are two options for editing images make images into square shapes by extension or cropping let's choose i'm sorry the extension it will be interesting to see it's okay we have images with mostly white background so it went smoothly uh, next we have the advanced options first in line is rotate this one is available only on the paid plan as well as crop frame resize trim and watermark remove watermark add image and link to variant all right we actually asked hexton how the new update from shopify automatically transmits shopify cdn to webp is impacting their uh, their app for the more technical people uh, you'll know what i mean by that and their response is that all the features are working as intently as intended which okay and webp only affects compression features however since safari browser doesn't support webp it's still useful to compress for safari anyway that's pretty much it uh, for the app it's a nice tool to have and depending on your specific situation it might be a perfect match or it might not be you do get results really fast extra options like crop rotate and watermarks are great to have on one hand and remember that you'll probably have to move up in their pay plans also relatively fast you will love the schedule tasks option if you're adding products daily. So a bunch of pros, some cons, depending on your situation. So yeah, I hope this, this kind of helps you. The plan limits are something, like I said, that makes this app really not a fit for everyone, I would say. If you want to fully optimize your website, there is no way you can do it unless to pay for the enterprise plan, especially if you have a lot of pictures. This app is intended for bulk editing, but you need to spend a lot of time to go to each step and check if every image is looking good and fits your team. Well, again, this might fit some stores really well, some other stores might not, but I hope you found what you were looking for with this review. All right, guys, that is it for today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. I hope it gave you some sort of extra resources to make the decision whether or not this app is right for you before you actually download it and before you insert all that code inside your team. Because don't forget, once it's inserted inside your team, uh, you need a developer or you need to go into the actual code to remove it. By simply removing the app, the code will not go away. Get out of here. Get out of here, man! So anyway, thanks so much. Make sure to follow us on, on all the platforms. And if you have any development work, we are your guys, ecomexperts.io. And see you in another video. Cheers, guys.